Hey, it's ZR90, and I'm doing a dual com with the one and only Grizzly. Uh, he's right here. How you guys doing? So, How you doing, Arrow? <laughs> I'm doing good. How about you, man? Uh, doing good. Got off work a couple hours ago and had to do some shopping. <laughs> yeah, same here. I've been waiting for like three hours for you, man. Where you been? <laughs> right, work, so, man. Yeah. So, let's talk about Modern Warfare 3. So, what weapons did you find overpowered, man? Uh, I think the FMG9s, a Kimbo, are overpowered, and also the Type 95. Yeah, definitely. The I started using the the Type 95 a little bit, but then afterwards, it's just like the burst. I don't know, it got to me, and like, I, I don't like using overpowered weapons, mostly because people hate on you, and I don't know, I just don't think it's worth it, since mostly all weapons were balanced in Modern Warfare 3, but... For the secondaries, the FMG 9, yeah, I still use those a little bit, but I'm starting to use the Scorpions, and those are pretty beast, too. Yeah, I, I use the MP9 myself, so. I, honestly, I tried out the MP9. I did not like it, but I picked it up with Jimbo, like, on a random match I was playing, and it was pretty boss, but, like, by itself, I, I honestly didn't like it. Yeah, see, I use... Uh... The uh, extended mag attachment or a red dot, so it takes a while to get it, but I use that. Yeah. So, what do you think about Assassin? And, like, you know how in, in Black Ops everybody was hating on Ghost? <laughs> um, I think Assassin is a good perk if you use it the way it should be used. When you run around with Assassin, you're actually using it like a UAV jammer from like COD 4 and War, War Days. If you use it with the, uh, if you combine it with Blind Eye, then you're just basically being a little, you know, chump sitting in a corner with Blind Eye and Assassin. And I just, that's overpowered, so. I, it's somewhat like um, Ghost, but sometimes it's not, depending on how you use it. Yeah, I think so too, but mostly in Modern Warfare 3, I've been like, I've died from rushers that use it, so I really haven't had a problem with it, so I, I'm alright with it, but the perk I found like is, it's not overpowered, but it's so beast, is uh, Marksman, that perk is just amazing. I have not got to use that much yet, I've been really on the Stalker and a Dead Silent. Yeah, uh, I used Stalker before, but... I don't know, since I'm aiming down the sides and you move faster, I, I just rush it a little bit so I don't have like the best advantage over them. And sometimes I die, but with Marksman, I play a little bit more defensively and I don't know, I get more kills. And Dead Silence, I honestly haven't used that one. I want to try it out today maybe, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, Dead Silence is nice because, you know, you, you silent your footsteps and when you get the pro ability, you take no fall damage. So... And I, I jump from high stuff all the time, so I don't feel like dying. Wait, with dead times, you, with pro, there's no fall damage? There's no fall damage whatsoever. Wow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so. Have you used the shotguns at all? Yes, and I believe they're all garbage. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> they told me a lot about the striker with like extended mags, and I saw a couple of videos with it with range, but it takes way too long to get it. And then like from the time that you have it to the time that you get that, you you will die like a bunch of times. So, but out of all the shotguns, I like the A12 the most. So. Yeah, I have to say my favorite shotgun would have to be um. Not the Spaz 12, the other pump action one, the KSG 12 or whatever it's called. I like that one if it had like damage or range on it. Yeah, the Spaz 12 was absolutely horrible. Like I've tried it, like hit markers point blank. I think it's a little bit better than the models. The models you can't even use a Kimbo, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, the models you can't do nothing with. But you got no attachments whatsoever, so. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your, ch about your channel. So what are you doing? Uh, well, basically my channel is more for fun and just commentary. Sometimes I'll post like you know videos of, with beats on them that Shadow Beats made that I just kind of edit and create, and make my own. Or then I sometimes will post. Uh, thinking about doing a Road to Commander 
on my secondary account and I just post random stuff sometimes live commentaries I mean it's just a fun channel if I can make money off of it sure why not if I can I can't yeah definitely I think you're like one of the most underrated right now <laughs> I've, I've heard that a lot from a lot of bigger youtubers too yeah hopefully when you get HD it'll all go better yeah, I actually have a buddy with an HD PVR, and he's trying to sell it to me, and I'm just trying to save the money up for it right now. Yeah, I want to get an HD PVR too, because like with all com all the competition, I don't know. I just think it's hard like to get noticed when you have a dazzle. Yeah, big time. So Grizzly, what guns do you use? Like, what gun do you like to use the most? Uh, it's a toss-up between either the P90 or the uh, MP7, for at least the submachine guns. It's a toss-up between those two. Yeah, I've heard the MP7 is just amazing, but I haven't used it. I wanted to use it, but uh, since I'm like on the gun level 30 for the P90, I wanted to get that gold. Yeah, I don't like gold. <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't like gold. <laughs> Like, honestly, I don't like it, like, so, because it's too bright, I guess, and I, I just feel like they're going to see me, but I just take it as, as a challenge, you know, I want to get everything gold. Oh, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So, for the assault rifles? Uh, ACR or AK-47? I'm leaning more towards the ACR because it is so accurate, but the AK-47 because it's so powerful. The AK AK47, uh, I just found it like uh, it was a, like the weird recoil. Like it's not up and down. It's more like side to side, up and down. I don't know. It's weird. I don't like it that much. But the Scar was definitely one of my favorite ones, and also the ACR. I haven't used the Scar too much. I know I've used the ACR a lot. At least my last prestige, I used it a lot. I really haven't really got to the Scar. Cause I usually start with some machine guns and I stay with some machine guns until 50 or 60 in rank. So, what prestige are you? I am currently a third prestige. Really? Wow. I'm I'm first <laughs> prestige, level 80. Yeah. But I don't plan on prestige, you know. I just wanna maybe for my second second um um oh shit my second count. yeah count. I'll start prestiging there, but for my first one, I'm just gonna have like try to go beast KD and all the guns so I can make more gameplay without like getting into all of it. Well, that's completely understandable. Yeah, my uh, my uh, account, I'm third prestige, rank 23, and my secondary account is going to be the no prestige and basically the road to commander and then beast gameplays or whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I was also thinking about doing like, um, I, I think you told me too, but I never got around to it. The, um, the, the, what's, the um, making new guns, making uh, gameplay with new guns. But yeah, it's kind of challenging and you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I posted a comment on your, one of your videos to basically kind of like a goofy setup class that your subscribers make, yeah. Yeah, but since I don't have enough comments or subscribers, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's going to work like as like right now, but hopefully in the future. Oh, yeah. I've done a few of those goofy class setups for Black Ops, and... It, it it's a challenge. I'll I'll definitely say that. Yeah, like the gun you told me wasn't that bad. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember what gun it was, but it was a submachine gun. I think the MP9. Uh, I'm really not sure, but I, think I tried it was a PM9. Yeah, the PM9. Yeah, that one. I tried it out a f uh, like a few times, but I don't know. Like I got decent scores, but not anything beast to post on YouTube. Yeah, I, I haven't used that gun, so I just kind of threw a gun out there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw a gun up there to see if you'd do it. I, I've never even used it. Alright, so I'll, I'll try to get a gameplay with it. Hey, do what you do, man.
So, what's your playing style? My playing style, it depends on the game type, really. Uh, TDM, I'm full blown rush, just running around the map like a chicken with his head cut off. Search, I'm a little bit more defensive depending on if we're attacking or defending. Uh, sabotage, I'm all for the bomb, blowing it up. I don't care if I get no kills and 15 deaths, I want to blow that bomb up. Uh, what other game types do I play? Domination, I'm a flag capper, I want to run around and cap flags, but I don't do it where we triple cap. I'm more of a two flag person and then yeah, we just yeah. hold that. Um, and I basically just said all, uh, kill confirmed. I I play that a little bit more defensive, depending on the map. Um, I do cap to get the dog tags, but usually I have uh, two teammates with me that are usually the ones that are running around the map getting all the tags. I just scream them out and get kills. Yeah, same here. Mostly depending on the map and what type of game I'm playing but with searching the story I usually rush just because like I tend to I don't know I don't I'm not I'm not really a good camper I guess so like <laughs> I start trying to play, play a little bit more defensively and they just come from behind me kill me so I just rush I don't know that's what works best for me but everybody has different styles yeah, it just basically for me, it depends on what map we're on. Like, mission, I'm more of a defensive player because that map is so small. But if we get on, like, uh, Underground, which is my favorite map, I am full-blown rush. Don't care what side we're on. I just rush because I know where all the little sneaky spots are hiding at. And, I don't know. I, I'm mostly a rushing player. It just depends on the map and the game type. Yeah, and also play, like, to how they play. Like, sometimes they like to rush a lot, and I, I realize that some of them are better than me. So I play a little bit more defensively, knowing where they're going, and just take them out from there. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. And also, yeah. when I play Domination, whenever I'm playing with, like, my friends, yeah, I, sometimes I usually don't go for caps because I know my friends have it. But if I'm playing by myself, I usually go for, like, the caps. B, B first of all, I, I go straight f to B from the spawn just to like get the advantage and just try to defend it from there but if I'm like losing by a lot I usually like you know like whatever it's not really worth it and I just play for kills yeah but I try to um, be more of an objective player yeah I'm more of an objective player myself but then there's been games where I have you know three four people on my team that are playing the objective there's no need for me to play the objective, and that's when I kick in the kill whoring person, and because you know every game type there's got to be a kill whore, so I usually take that role if there's three, four people playing the objective. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I have a topic or a question. Yeah. What are your favorite perks, and what are your dislike, your disfavorite perks, or whatever? So my favorite perks would probably be uh, for the first one. Sleight of hand, mostly because that's what I need to like. Because since I rush a lot, I get more into like unfair gunfights, and I just have to reload a lot and quickly. And also the switch weapons, I tend to pick up a lot of weapons just since I don't really use my secondary that much. But for my second peer, uh, I try to use um. I was using quick draw at the beginning, but. Uh, I don't know, I really don't see it's worth it. So I'm trying to use a little bit more of Assassin and Hardline. But, and for my third, it would have to be Marksman. Uh, the ones I dislike were... Uh, I really didn't have any dislikes. I, I really haven't used the, the first one you get. I think it's called Blind Die or something like that. Yeah. But that's basically it. What about you? Uh, my first my first pay perk in tier one would have to be extreme conditioning. I just love being able to sprint longer than everyone else, and then when you get the pro ability, you can uh, climb obstacles better, faster, I should say. Uh, my second one is hardline. Uh, pro, you know, you know the pro perk, you know, yeah. two assists equals one kill. You can't pass that up. Uh, and then the third one has to be a dead side. So. But usually, I usually get all the perks in the game sooner or later, so it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I definitely want to try out Dead Silence. 
But what about the kill, uh, the death streaks? What do you think about those? Oh man, final stand. I hate that damn perk. I was yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I use juiced. Uh, don't usually ever get on a death streak, anyways. But I use juiced. Yeah. There's there's some people out there that need the death streaks, and I think that they they should never put them in the game to reward a crappy player. Yeah, exactly. I think they not they shouldn't, but they should put crappy ones. Like I don't know, maybe like UAV for like the first five seconds to tell you where they're all at. Uh, juice like that, like that to get you closer. But definitely not second chance or anything like that. The last stand. And also, yeah. what I hated was that they get the primary gun. I don't know if that's a glitch or that it's actually supposed to be like that. And also, they get C4. I know C4 is legit, but like the blast ra radius for that thing is just dude. Retarded. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Dead man's hands. I hate that one. Final stand. They are. You do get your primary weapon, which I think is stupid. Um. I'm fine with hollow points. I haven't ran into anyone to use hollow points, but hollow points I think is actually a pretty decent one to have because it increases their bullet damage for one kill. Okay, whatever. Yeah, That's fine with me. I really don't mind. But yeah, I really didn't see why they put that. And also, when you put somebody down on last stand and somebody takes your kill or shoots them, like they get the kill. Like really. We yeah, they, assist. yeah, that that should have never happened. I like what Triarch did with the after the patch was you got a, the kill and they got the assist. That works so much better. Yeah, like I guess Modern Warfare 2 they never did that, but we did see it in the in the last game. So yeah. they should like go back to that. Yeah. So, it, 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 I don't know. Infinity War makes like this game has the possibility of being one of the greatest Call of Duty's ever, and they're screwing it up. So, yeah, exactly. Like the same thing that as Modern Warfare 2, even though they are supporting it more, but you know, it's not really as good as most people expected it to. No, it, it'll never live up to my expectations. So, yeah. So, have you had any problems with lag? Uh, a crap load. Mm -hmm. I also don't have a very strong internet connection, so most of the time I'm in a lobby, I'm three bar in it. And the whole the whole lobby can be four bar, and I'm three bar. I don't know why. Yeah, what I've had a lot was the um, like the frame rates are a little bit slower. So it's like a lag, but a little lag. Not exactly like Black Ops, but if you got like like lagged out but honestly I just think that's worst I don't know I just don't see it why they would do that I think I can help you fix that problem with the, the uh, frame rate turn off theater mode yeah yeah I, I've heard about that but I'm uh, what if I get a good game I don't know about that <laughs> yeah I, I turned it off for like a week and then I recorded live and couldn't get a gameplay to save my life Turned it back on, didn't record. Man, I popped off like six gameplays back to back to back. I'm like, all right, it's staying on for now. I don't even care. I can deal with the slight lag. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like huge, but it, it gets annoying every once in a while. Oh, yeah. So, do you want to wrap this up? It's fine with me, man. All right, so this is the one and only Grizzly. Go check out his channel. Definitely sub to him. And alright, see you guys. See you guys.